So many people have said that I'm not mentally ill, including somebody with a psychology degree and, and a female who knew me better than other people for a time because I lived with her and I wasn't really into con wasn't really in contact with my parents. She said that I'm like the most normal person that she ever came across. And if you look at my videos, it's sound. You see the way I think, you see the way I talk, my analysis, what I'm saying people should do. That is the normal human response. It's the perfect human response. And so there's no Bible counter argument. And of course, you know, people have testified that yes, they're changing. Um, they're slowing down my videos and doing stuff to try to make it so I seem mentally ill. And that factors in big time, you know, and I've pointed out myself many times that they try to make it so I sound manic. Okay. And the, I've never met anyone in my life who was bipolar or manic and didn't admit it, right? It just doesn't happen. That's crazy as it gets, right? Because, you know, people with those mood swings, they're manic depressive, right? They they lash out, they have mania. They're just they're just gonna tell you they are. It's not a big deal. You know, it's like um, you know, having you know, it's like being crippled or something. People just don't lie about it. There's no point and people pick up on that, right? So you can tell and of course, that wouldn't change the fact that I'm the top martial artist ever. So you can tell that I'm telling the truth about this. And, and that's on the up and up. And, you know, you can tell I'm an honest person and so on and so forth. Okay, so that leads me to... Um, okay. So I made my Psychiatry is a Fraud series in 2012 where I masterfully proved my point about this stuff. You know, I was talking about piece of chicken, peace of mind where a lot of people's problem has to do with nutrition, right? I'd get what, call, what is called hangry, right? To be hungry and angry together. And I had a problem at the time in my household of, because I live in the middle of nowhere, right? Of being able to bring food to the house and cook it without being pestered by my parents, okay? And that would cause me to go to my room and I'd get hungry and I, you know, and various things would increase my hunger, like hunger, like working out. So I start my body start really demanding a lot of nutrients as I was doing the most demanding workout, and I get very angry. You know, I start playing music and and I get hangry, hungry and angry. Okay. So I'd also prove it with various things, right? The prescription pill uh, mortality rates, right? How many people are dying from prescription pills? Um, I cited many, many sources. Um, I did my own study about uh, mental health patients and hearing what they're saying, and I did a great job of, of proving uh, that psychiatry is a fraud. Like it's it's there's some truth to it. Obviously, some people have mental illness, but psychiatry as a science, as a practice, is just faulty. It's just extremely off. It's very oppressive. The political abuse of psychiatry is is notorious. There's a long story as to why that is. There's many articles written on it. Okay you know, drapedomania to, you know, the, the, the miss, uh, the political abuse, you know, the mislabeling of, of people. Okay. And how, um, mental health, uh, how, how mental disorders, um, come into being, right? How, how their labels come into being. So they say, okay, let's call this, this, let's call this that, right? They're feeling me right now, making it harder to speak. And, you know, can you imagine them arguing that you're confused about that and they're fuming you heavily? Like, you know, you know what I'm saying? And I see the change in speech patterns and behaviors, uh, the burning on the tongue and the mouth, you know. So why they continue, this has to do with why they're dumb, right? Look at how Bezos and Musk act. Look at Donald Trump. Look at how politicians act, Lady Gaga singing at the inauguration. When we look at things, hey, you know, why are they doing all those crazy things, right? So to some degree, I don't know why they're doing this because they're crazy. And to some degree, there's a pattern that shows um, what might best be described as a sort of ritual abuse, right? Okay, so where were we here? So I made my first, during the year 2012 was a very significant year, right? I made my first public uh, martial arts challenge on May 4th, 2012. Also that year, I made the deepest songs that were ever made by anybody in terms of the lyrical content and the passion and the martial force behind them, right? Now, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm being sabotaged to some degree, but at that time, the sabotage didn't really it, it was less right it was less it incrementally got worse it didn't really interfere with my ability to get into um well it, you know it, it slowed my progress down no doubt but it didn't stop me from having the most respectable martial art body th there ever was the most respectable martial art body and picture and that picture that was taken in 2012 that they've edited since then okay 
And I, I, I posted it at one point next to Bruce Lee's flex, and you can tell that I have much better martial art body, that he wouldn't stand a chance. That was uh, um, that picture was taken in the beginning of the year 2012. And, and I also made my first public martial art challenge that year, the same year as the Psychiatry is a Fraud series. Also that year, I made the deepest songs ever made. It was the Temple and Cuz I'm Haru. Okay, and this, this you know, I had said I'm Haru. I'm the, the greatest embodiment of the ideal man. And that led into, you know, the next year, the end of the next year, it led up to um, that top martial arts challenge being made. And in 2014 and 2015, the best martial art demonstrations around that time ever, 2014, 15, and 16, right, with me striking at world record speed were recorded. And they slowed down those videos. They did things to them to cast doubt on them. Okay, and you can see it with all the technology they're using with people speeding up and slowing down videos these days and all the filters and all the, all the stuff in that regard that you can imagine that, that the PSYOP units and the people working for the government and national security at the various social media sites were absolutely doing that. Okay, so they covertly edited these things and you see with the songs, old Tupac songs, what have you, you can hear that they've edited those as well. Okay, I also, um, okay. So I posted also proof that they were covertly drugging me in 2012 as well. And I get set up on my birth, excuse me, on my little brother's birthday on, uh, in July, okay, in 2012. And I end up going to the psych ward and they start harassing me about my videos. They start bringing up my videos. They said that I'm not allowed. And when I go to outpatient, they say I'm not allowed to go out to make my videos on my channel. They blocked me from the internet, right? And they said, you know, that, it, that they think it's bad for me and so on and so forth. So they thought that me making videos on the internet somehow fed into some mental illness that they made up and they were switching. They're saying he's bipolar. No, it's psychosis. No, no, he's schizophrenic. No, he's schizoaffective. They're like making up stuff every turn, right? Which to some degree is common in mental health as they don't know what they're talking about anyway way and they're they just kind of drug you you know and they kind of focus on the symptoms but there was no symptoms of mental illness okay they were hardly covertly drugging me in a way that caused me to seem bipolar or anything like that so they didn't really see it they had he say she say going on and my parents were collaborating with the government and to some degree they still are right and they did that in order to keep the family going or whatever and there is some logic to it but it ultimately no one should ever do that but they're blameless and, and that's that Okay, so on December 20th, 2013, I made the most impressive martial art challenge ever possible while very sabotaged and covertly drugged with over 7 billion people on the planet in the most populated state, in the most competitive country in the world, which is also one of the most populated countries in the world, which is America, okay, where Bruce Lee is, you know, aka Jim, Chuck Norris did movies here and all these, all these guys, a lot, there's a big martial arts scene in California. And keep in mind, America, again, has the most martial arts schools of any country in the world. Okay. Okay, so in 2015, through extreme sabotage uh, at the park, I beat the first challenger almost flawlessly um, with dress socks on, on wet grass, and he had shoes on. He showed up where I had the dick cup on, the, 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 you know, the whole works, where he kind of, he rejected a lot of the gear, right? So he's just wearing the, uh, no, he rejected the headgear too. He just had the gloves and something else. He didn't have the stomach gear on. He didn't have the, the sparring shoes on. I had the sparring shoes with the wet socks that really messed up my ability to kind of, you know, with the dress socks on the wet grass. It messed up my ability to kind of have grip. And I was hella fumed that day. I felt very weak and very sickly. I looked very skinny in the morning. There was a lot of signs. And you could see it when I, when I talked about the challenge after when I got home, you know, that I was kind of skinnier than I looked in a lot of videos. But they'll probably covertly edit that. So they, they had... They had drugged me in a way that caused that 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 physiological those physiological changes that um, really made it harder to win. But I was able to win nonetheless. I also graduated college that year, okay, and I beat every other challenge after that. There was at least three flakes, okay. Every other challenge after that, and the last one came in 2017. There was at least three flakes, okay. So they edited my demonstrations to some degree. Um, they they try to make it so I resemble the military in some of my pictures, right? They try to make it so I look like a clown flexing and something. They edit the pictures. The drugs were changing my shape to some degree, and they're editing the pictures to try to make it so I look like a weird circus clown because they're kind of circus occult, cycle circus, kind of rock and roll, rocker, mock, rock, mock, shock, clock, flock, you know, the kind of thinking, right? These words, rhyme and reason, right? Um, I, I had proven that technological harassment was real. I had uh, thousands of videos referring to my top martial arts challenge. I commented on many videos. I put the names of schools in the description and in the comments. Okay. 